why a prominent mainland Chinese immigrant, a community leader, was imprisoned in Canada. The trap of capitalism 34 year ago, Mr. Weijun Tang, as a young university teacher and international student from a university in China, came to the so-called advanced and developed North American capitalist society with a dream of pursuing freedom, democracy, and the rule of law. More importantly, pursuing a better life. He studied both in the United States and Canada since 1978, engaged in medical research after graduation, and eventually became an influential figure as a an financial entrepreneur, social celebrity, and community leader. However, he unexpectedly ended up in prison and became a criminal in Canada. Like most immigrants, Wei Jin Tang initially believed in Canada's human rights, democracy, and freedom of belief, and believed in the fairness and impartiality of Western law and the legal system, the Canadian constitutions. However, due to his naivety, immaturity, and ignorance, his overseas success resulted in harm to himself and his beloved investors. He would regret this for the rest of his life if he could not fight back and resurrection, and he also hopes that his experience and suffering will serve as a lesson to everyone. He found that the human rights, democracy, and freedom of belief in the United States and Canada as well as the fairness and impartiality of Western law and the legal system, were all fraudulent and aimed to attract wealthy people and talents, only to take and ruin them. Western human rights and values are a huge lie and trap, a systemic and institutional trap that is impossible to guard against. He speaks from his experience of living in North America for more than 30 years saying that this society is full of arrogance, prejudice, discrimination, and evil force. They are under the guise of democracy, freedom, and human rights to deceive new immigrants like us. He wants to warn everyone to be careful and cautious. Wei Jin Tang is a scholar and a natural-born financial businessman. He started small business but with the knowledge and experience he gained from studying and living in North America, he found a lot of bigger business opportunities, such as financial trading, with unlimited potential. He started managing mutual funds for his colleagues, friends, and clients in the bank, and made a lot of money by trading daily without leverage, with an annual return of over 30%. Investors flocked to him but his trading was interrupted after one year due to bank intentional restrictions. Through continuous exploration, he established an overseas Chinese partnership fund, raised and collected concentrated funds to become stronger, registered hedge funds in relevant departments in the United States and Canada, and legally managed funds. The business was flourishing with financing of tens of millions of dollars and he would have raised and controlled several billion or even hundreds of billions if there had been no financial crisis and OSC ban. However, he did not expect that this place was full of traps, found a sinful Western capitalist society. Luckily, he did not expand too fast and too much, or he would have been even worse off. In a place and base that is anti-China and anti-communist, how could a Chinese person live and compete with banks and Wall Street? At first, he was so naive and relied on his experience and ability. He wrote a report to the chairman of China Investment Corporation, the Honorable Chairman Liu Jiwei, suggesting that he could help them invest in the U.S. market index fund such as S&P 500. However, his report may well be blocked and he was investigated by the FBI, the Canadian Security Intelligence Service, and the Toronto Police, the Canadian Federal Prosecution, the Crown. He was eventually sentenced to prison for charges of fraud and securities violations, which he says that were all false charges 
and malicious prosecution. Wei Jin Tang's story warns people not to blindly believe in the so-called Western human rights, democracy, and the rule of law. The reality is that Western society is a trap full of lies and deceit and falsehood. One must be careful and cautious in every step. At the beginning, he was very naive and relied on his experience to write a report to the chairman of the China Investment Corporation, the Honorable Chairman Mr. Liu Jiwei. He suggested that they invest in the U.S. market index funds and short-term trading index funds with a return of over 30%. Instead of buying U.S. bonds, which help U.S. government and under the U.S. government control, U.S. stock indices are relatively safe, highly liquid, and have returns that are several times or tens of times higher than those of U.S. bonds. They are not controlled by the United States government, and the claims of Wall Street and the U.S. Federal Reserve that the U.S. bond market is large and low risk are actually deceiving third world countries to use their hard-earned money to support U.S. 